Young Folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Evil. All powerful. All terrifying. Evil to seek you out and destroy. Guys and gals alike, disguise yourself from the most inhuman creatures ever to frighten the wits out of you. Get your Rasputin beard free as you enter the theater to see Rasputin, the Mad Monk, history's man of mystery. You will apologize for laughing at me. I am not a peasant woman. What are you? I am lady in waiting to the Tsarina. What strange power did this man actually possess? A power that turned people into murderers. Man of violence. Terror of a nation. <coughs> goaded by an insane lust to dominate even its rulers. He has the Tsarina in his absolute power. Under hypnosis, he can make her do whatever he wishes. Do you understand what that means? He must be destroyed before he destroys us all. You will go away and destroy yourself. Man! 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 Rasputin, the mad monk! And on the same screaming program... Get away from there! Get away! Ah! Suddenly... Violent, horrible death. This is an evil place. Corrupt and evil. Can the dreaded curse of the Orang Sanko turn living woman into deadly, slithering snake? See, venomous, creeping evil create a writhing hell on earth. I could kill you. Possibly. But you could never be free then, could you? Trapped like animals in a cage and getting closer ah! and closer, suffocating them with terror. The reptile. And gals, remember, disguise yourself from the forces of evil. Get your Rasputin beard free as you enter the theater. Most of us will spend Memorial Day weekend with our families, watching parades, picnicking, golfing, just doing the things we enjoy. To top off a perfect weekend, may we suggest you see our special holiday show. It's an exceptionally entertaining program. So plan to relax and spend a few enjoyable hours with the family at this theater during the Memorial Day weekend. I have our new Cutlass now. Sure handles easy. Drive happy, Cutlass can make you a little drive happy. I forgot to get the newspaper. Glad we ordered these swivel bucket seats. <laughs> yeah, in case I get to drive someday. The Cutlass S, Oldsmobile's sporty fastback at a price that's less than you might think to help make you really drive happy. 
drive happy. Can I drive now? Ten, nine, eight, seven minutes to go. I just told him if a man answers, hang up. Didn't you hear about me, Gabe? If I'd been a ranch, they would have named me the bar nothing. There never was a woman like Gilda, or a picture like Gilda. Columbia's outstanding screen triumph, starring Rita Hayworth with Glenn Ford. That's what I told Val, and that's what you're gonna tell him. Making me deceive my husband. I got some news for you, Gilda. He didn't just buy something. He's in love with you. One man bought Gilda. Another hated her and hungered for her. I hate you too, Johnny. I hate you so much that I think I'm going to die from it. Darling. Gilda, inflaming men's hearts with a kiss or a song. She started to shim and shake. That brought on the Frisco quake. Make her stop. What do you mean by it? Now they all know what I am. And that should make you happy, Johnny. It's no use just you knowing it, Johnny. Now they all know that the mighty Johnny Barrow got taken. And that he married a... steel became the ultimate weapon of vengeance and the ultimate samurai was Ogami Ito. He lived in a time of warlords and murderous clans, a time when oppressors took what they wanted, protected by the vicious mercenaries of the blade. The governor's samurai are fast too, Ogami. It's their power you're afraid of. Ogami stood alone against them all. Ogami. We'll kill you if you try to leave. You cannot stand against us. 
and kill me. He traveled a vengeance trail marked by the blood of his enemies. Stop. Don't die for no reason. We'll leave this fight to somebody whose skill is as great as his. A master of the blade couldn't stop him. Hired assassins couldn't touch him. And the elite palace guards fell under his sword. Then, in the valley of hell, they threw an army at him. And he threw it back. A piece at a time. Ogami was a one-man war. In his hands, cold steel became lightning swords of death. Raise a kung fu fist against Ogami Ito, and he'll chop it off. We've all seen these signs hundreds of times, and we know automatically what they mean. Here's a name sign. In this case, it's a sign that means me. And I'm here to introduce you to a brand new sign, one I hope you'll grow to understand. It's the new seal of the Motion Picture Association. This seal is part of the self-regulation of the Motion Picture Association. It means that the film displaying the seal is within the creative boundaries of reason and good judgment, and that the theatre showing this film supports the code. Occasionally, not often, you will see pictures wearing this sign. They will be pictures dealing with adult themes, and the sign is for the information of parents, so they'll know they must decide for themselves whether they want their children to see these particular films. So watch for this seal. It is both the promise and the symbol of a responsible motion picture industry. And now, on with the show. I'm Rodeo Joe, big star of the show. Oh, I'm strong and I'm spry, yippee-yay, yippee-yay, cause I drink T-O-D-D-Y. Yes, Toddy, the chocolate malt in a can. The taste is good or better than the kind you get at your favorite soda fountain. Made with rich, real milk, not powdered milk. Man, oh man, it's toddy for me. Me too. Me three. <laughs> yes, cold or hot, it hits the spot. So toddle to the bar, take it back to the car, get that chocolate malted toddy. Toddy pleases everybody. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> says vampires are no laughing matter. <laughs> they certainly are. Vampire killers, or, pardon me, but your teeth are in my neck. Jack McGarrett. Sharon Tate. 
Alfie Bass. Ferdy Maine. And Terry Downs. Two men on a vampire hunt. Simple? They certainly are. Ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat.